Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Shenanigai Plays Hogwarts A Legacy. I think we're going to the three broomsticks now. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. It looks like a familiar looking hat. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Rookwood, huh? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were Fair. you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Ooh. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Great. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, Whoa. I think we should head back to the castle. But we just got to the broomsticks. And Revenge. there's a thing over here. Yes, right there. The Three Broomsticks, currently run by Serona Ryan, and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself, the Three Broomsticks is the long-standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or fire whiskey. Well, I think that's all that was in here. Heard. Rebellion. I 
hear that chiming. A chest! I still hear that chiming. What the heck? Wow, this place is bigger than I thought it was. Goodness. Okay, so that leads us to outside. Don't want to go there yet. Revelio. Nope, oh, it's locked. All right. Let's see what happens when we walk outside. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Fair. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Oh, do we... Are we forced to fast travel? Let's travel to your common room. Yes. Uh, which one's the common room? Uh, Great Hall, Grand Staircase, South Wing, Bell Tower. But where's the common room? There we go. Okay. Is that our owl? Hmm. Right. Oh, received an owl post. So yes, I would assume it is our owl. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Oh, happy now. And that was one staircase down, I think. Right? Nope. One staircase up. I'll learn the common room eventually, I'm sure. I still can't go that way. Oh! I wonder if that's supposed to be like the... Um, like the female's side to the common room and that's why it's blocking us but then if that were the case why wouldn't there be some standing here blocking the whatever okay off on another adventure are we um who said that oh the her okay um so got to talk to professor fig see what we've got going here um okay so we'll go talk to professor fate
Interesting. Ooh, we can really run down this staircase. Alright, oh, this is the direction we went with uh, Instructor Weasley. Is that the. Oh, it is one of them. Revelio. Oh no, it's Luminous for this Luminous. one, isn't it? Okay, so it's a green. Green wallpaper with. Green wallpaper with a bunch of pictures. Is that up here? It is, yes. This is a cool little puzzle. I'm sure it's going to help us to uh, learn the castle, too. Uh. Nice. Is that the... That's not the Grand Hall, is it? No, it's not. Is it? No, that's the... Yeah, okay. I think I know where that is. It is not where we need to be going, though. Uh... Very easy to get lost. Of course, that is the way the castle was described in the books, so I suppose that makes sense. Repair. No, nope, that's not what I meant to do. do you have a Accio. Accio. There we go. Out to the big door. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. There's one right there, but yeah. If you haven't noticed, a really cool thing they're doing in this game is it loads parts of the map when you get to a door. Um, so that's why the game didn't let us go through that door for a second there. Because it was actually loading the next area. Which is really cool because it practically eliminates loading screens. And of course if your graphics settings were set lower to what mine are. I'm kind of pushing things a little bit. Um, but if you were to set your graphics settings a little bit lower. It wouldn't take anywhere near as long to load. And I think it's time to admit that I am lost. You made your point. He's still chasing him with an axe. Professor Fig's classroom. Aha! So is this the correct area? It is! Professor Fig. As if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimatize. Yeah, acclimatize. Before term begins, I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas Nigelius Black. Headmaster. Nigelius, not Nigelius. Jeez. Revelio. I feel like there's going to be some things in this room. I don't remember what Professor Fig teaches. Mm. Oh, that's an interesting... Is that, is that one of the merfolk from the Black Lake? Huh. 
Well, anyway. Is that one of those mirrors where you can, like, see your enemies? Nah. Couldn't be. Could it? Ah. So this is what a uh, professor's room looks like, huh? Rebellion. Ooh, a chest. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Uh, about the goblins at Gringotts. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Yeah, fair. Fair point. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Oh. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well, but... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. Okay. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. So, here's the thing. Hogwarts is supposed to be unmappable, right? Like, I thought that was a thing. And yet, we've got the map made by the Marauders in the books. And the films, I guess, too. Which was supposed to be pretty, uh, pr pretty crazy. Um caveat with that so there's a uh book and a quill um that was enchanted by the founders that like writes people's names in the book um there's a lot to them but basically any magical person's name is written in the book so there's a theory that the marauders maybe found that and used that same type of enchantment to enchant their map to show where people are in the castle at any given time. Uh, but anyway, and now we have another map of Hogwarts. Perhaps I'll come back to this. And we also have our map of Hogwarts, which, you know, we kind of have to have a map of Hogwarts in the game to, uh, you know, navigate and such. But still, amazing how many times the unmappable is mappable. Let's see. So we need to do Defense Against the Dark Arts lessons. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Huh. Indeed. Uh, what are you doing? 
Uh, let's see. Okay, so... We've got a few things we can do. Professor Hackett's assignment. Secrets of the restricted section. Okay, I haven't been to those areas. So that is the Great Hall. Okay, I thought it was. Um, okay, so so far it looks like we only have the two, the two quests going on. So we will go do those. I would fast travel, but I kind of want to uh, learn how to navigate Hogwarts. Plus, I really want to see what there is to see of Hogwarts. So, we're going to get ourselves horribly lost. It just pops up out of nowhere. Cool. Um, this nice way. You, ah, yes. Well, didn't get lost at all. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Oh. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, oh. and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. What is it you need me to do? You know where to find me once you've finished. But... But what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what? You got it. Uh, okay. Why wouldn't she tell us what we're supposed to do? Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Win two rounds of crossed wands. Oh! Okay. Her, uh... Thing, statement there makes a lot more sense now. This quest is uh, directing us where to go. So if I got lost now, that would be uh, pretty embarrassing. But the clock tower. That must be the Owlry. I think that's what it's called. Ready for another round? I think so. Oh. We shall see who shows up. You! There's I no must talk to you. I'd be afraid to duel. Hello, I Lucan. Know Sebastian. I know. Uh... Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Indeed. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Um... Yeah, let's get Sebastian in here. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Oh, Apologies in advance. Three on two. Adept round. Uh, breakthrough versus violet shields with force spells like the summoning charm Accio. Target lock caps lock lets you track enemies without aiming. Use left and right arrows to change targets while locked. Okay. Repel. Oh. I don't remember how to block. Accio. Ah! Ah. Kindly set me. 
I keep forgetting about the blocking. Oh! Oh, I am almost... Right. I really gotta pay attention to that, uh... Little symbol. Oh, I missed that one. Oop. Oh, I missed that one too. Uh, we just barely won that one. That was, uh... Not gonna lie, that was a little pathetic. Bravo. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Indeed. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Thank you. Ready to have a try now? Sure. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay. Akio, okay. That's it. Uh. Nice. Nicely done. Levioso. Ah, I messed up. I see. Okay. Excellent form. I'd cool. say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank, Thank you, you Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. All right. Spell Excited combination practice fresh. one. All right, so now we got to go back to Professor Hackett. What's this guy? Could have gone a bit what? easier on me. I mean, I'm Perhaps sorry. I should stick to potions. Oh. Seems oh, I'm what's out going of the on with your? Uh... Thanks to you. Oh. Wow, somebody's salty. Is it because your uh, uh, robes have spawned through your body? <laughs> oh man, graphics issues. They're fun. So, back to Professor... I really want to know what's up with that. Mm. Alright. Uh, see if I can remember... Oh, or I could just look at the mini-map, because, you know, it's telling me where to go. That's helpful. The castle just looks so good. Oh my goodness. Like, imagine actually going to school here. How many people have actually gone to a school that's as big as Hogwarts? It's ridiculous. I mean, my second high school was a fairly large-ish school, and it was nowhere near the size of this. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. Sort of. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. 
Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Cappy. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Ah. Yeah, nice. Incendio learned. Good Spell work. selection menu. Uh, so wait, what, what are we supposed to... Can I not put it there? Do I have to put it on one of these? Yeah, okay. Incendio. I do apologize. Uh, so we don't do any practice with Incendio. We just learn up. Okay, cool. Returning to Fig's classroom, it is. Oh, hey, there's a. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Copy that. Setting things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I love how they have responses for this stuff. Incendio! Let me answer. Incendio! That's got a uh, pretty fast, or pretty long uh, cooldown. Well, anyway. Uh, I do believe this is where we are going to end this episode. Well, we will pick back up and go find uh, Professor Fig and see what is up in the Forbidden Library. Maybe. Depending on how things go. I've never played this game before, so I actually don't know how it's going to happen. So, until next time, I will see you all next time. Goodbye for now.